Hey guys, my name is Tyler Quinn. I'm the owner of CrossFit Minneapolis here. I've been, uh, I've been going to see Dr. Matt at the Family Wellness Institute for quite some time now. I've had some great results and we wanted to put this video together for you. Um, we're going to start with just some basic stretches here. Uh, the first one is just a shoulder pass through. The objective is to push the bar away from your body as hard as you possibly can through the duration of the movement. Start with your hands really wide on the PVC and then work them in as you start to increase your mobility. It looks like this. I would give it six to eight reps until you start to feel some shoulder mobility opening up. You can add to that by rotating the bar around your head. Again, making sure that you keep your elbows locked out, keeping the bar pushed as far away from your body as you possibly can, and changing directions. And the whole objective of this movement pattern is to open up the shoulder. Once you're done with that, we can bring the bar back down to our back, put your hands wherever they feel comfortable, and we're going to do something called a good morning, which is designed to open up the hamstring and the hip and the posterior chain, that group of muscles that runs from your neck down to your Achilles on the back side of your body. From a profile view, you have to make sure that you keep your chest pulled up. The minute you start to lose lumbar activity, like that, we want you to discontinue that movement and bring the bar back to a standing position. You can do 10, 15 reps of this until you really start to feel some, open, uh, some hip opening. All right, turning back to you guys, we'll add just a pressing movement. Hands on the PVC in about the same position and you're just gonna press the bar vertically and try to keep it stacked over your shoulder, hip, knee, and ankle for the entire time. What this is gonna work on is your scapular engagement, so your shoulder blades. It looks like this. A common fault with this movement is pushing the bar forward. which we want to avoid by pulling the shoulder blades back and bringing the bar back behind our head. The next movement is pretty simple and it's designed to open up the hip. You're going to, you're going to plant the PVC on the right side of your body, put your, uh, put your one hand on it and start swinging that right leg. Start this movement really lightly and then amplify it as you start to get more comfortable. Of course, you'll want to switch it up. After you're done with that, PVC in front of your body, and we're going to do some lateral swings with the right and left leg. This one's a little more challenging. One of the ways that you can make the balance part easier on yourself is whatever foot you have planted in the floor, that is, whatever foot you're not swinging, turn the toe out slightly. Again, make sure you get both sides. After you've finished that, I suggest you plant the PVC in front, push the hips back, keep your weight situated on your heels, push your head through your arms, and swivel your hips side to side. This is a great stretch for the lat, as well as the hamstring. Up to this point, all of these stretches have been dynamic. That is, we've been moving our body through space. This next one is isometric. We're going to hold a position, and it's designed to open up the shoulder further. You're going to grab your PV, hold your PVC out in front. You're going to turn your hand over. So again, I'll show you that one more time. Bring the PVC back and pull it in. And it's going to rotate that shoulder inward and hopefully stretch it out some. 
You can hold this for upwards of 30 seconds. And make sure you get both sides. The last stretch I want to show you is uh, fairly complicated. It's actually a, a movement we do in the gym quite often. It's called an overhead squat. It requires a lot of mo mobility and stabilization. You're going to get your hands into a position where when hanging in front of you, you can lift your leg and the bar rests in your hip crease. So to demo what we don't want, if the hands are too narrow on the PVC, you'll notice that the bar rises with the quad. We don't want that to happen, so we'll continue to move our hands out until the bar rests in the hip crease. That's when we know we're in a good position. We'll go overhead, applying upward pressure on the PVC, really pushing up, get into a good squat stance to so about shoulder width apart, and then drop in as deep as we possibly can without allowing our torso or the barbell to lose its position over the heel. From the front, it looks like this. And you can hold this position from the side, it looks like this. And that's a great movement to do anytime you want to add a little bit of strength training into your repertoire. Five to ten reps should do the trick. Next, we're going to talk about spinal decompression. Uh, the neat thing about this movement is all you need is something to hang with or hang on. Uh, if you have a swing set in the backyard, uh, if there's a park nearby with a playground on it, even a tree branch would do the trick. All we want to do is get up to it, make sure that our legs are completely off the ground and we can completely relax them. And you basically are going to swing them around like you were uh, kicking in a pool and then rotate the hips side to side. The hardest part about this is really, really relaxing the muscles and allowing gravity to pull out and open up some pressure in the, uh, in the spine.